In this video, I'm going to show you the number one passing concept in the red zone. All the pros are using this. It's out of the Saints playbook, and uh, it can go really well with our tight offset tight end offense. If you want to get my entire uh, Saints offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the Saints playbook. And this is a play you can literally create out of anything. I'm going to do it out of PA shot seams. Super simple red zone concept here. I like to flip this because I have a left-handed quarterback. Here's the setup. We're going to hitch both of our outside receivers. And then if you have Hot Route Master, I like to slant one of them and post the other one. Now, here's what the pros are doing. What the pros are doing is they're running two post routes or they're running two slant routes. I personally prefer to post the receiver on uh, typically the tight end and then slant the other one. But you can do whatever you want. But what you're going to see here is if it's against main coverage, these slants, these cross are super effective, um, as you can see right there in attacking man coverage. Now, one of the other things that's really good about this play, as like I said, I think it's the best red zone play in the game right now. One of the things that's also really good about it is the fact that not only does it beat man, but if they drop like flat zones, purple zones, anything like that, for whatever reason, in the red zone, these flat zones, they literally just dumb out. Like it, when you put the hitches on the field, they literally just dumb out like crazy. So I'm going to go to a cover two here. And in this situation, let's go with two posts. Again, you could go with post slant. You could go with slant, slant, whatever you want. But anyway, here it is again. And if you watch this flat, a lot of times is going to dumb out. Of course, right there it did not. <laughs> um, but a lot of times in game it will actually suck down uh, to this. This is a little bit um, kind of depending on what they're doing defensively. So, like, let's say, for example, they're in cover three. Um, you'll see here these hard flats. They just kind of suck in. This is a great example right there. You can freeform that down and outside. And a lot of times, even with a deep out zone knockout over there, he's going to be able to make the play because technically that is going to run a – that is technically a medium uh, a medium route. And you'll see here, if I do the two slants from about this area, you'll see – if I wait on this route to the tight end, just freeform that. I want to ag back to the ball. That's going to cut it off in front of the defender, as you can see right there. So, again, this is a super effective little concept. Most people don't run cover two. If they are going to run some cover two, one of the things you can do is kind of go with this little corner route uh, in the red zone or just throw the seams. So I would recommend, you know, again, most people are either going to be in cover four, they're going to be in man, cover four, cover three. If they are running a lot of cover two in the red zone, the slants uh, should be good. Uh, your hitches can be a read as well. Um, you see here, like, we can playmaker these hitches open. That's a crazy lurk from Richard Seymour. I think he got up on the ground and picked that. Um, but anyway, the, most of the time, if they are running any kind of cover two, all you have to do is go to PA seams and just motion this guy out. And typically, uh, you're going to have something. Typically, you're going to have something. You're going to have a corner out and back the end zone. You're going to have something uh, something open deep, right? So I wouldn't sweat too much cover two. If they do run cover two, the other thing you can do, and this is what I like to do with this play, is we're going to put a streak on the post side. And just the reason for that is for this very reason, like cover two zones or anything like that where, you know, they can kind of lurk you. This right here is super valuable. As you can see, Calvin Johnson just making play of the day. If we can score a touchdown, it would be awesome. Uh, but anyway, the idea with this is they have to also – they also have to guard a lot of other stuff at the flow of a game. So if you think about it, like you have this concept right here that's going to be good, right? But then you can combine that with maybe a flat wheel so they have to respect the flat or, you know, do something like that, kind of tweak it as needed. This is a great example of how it can really attack the coverage right there. So cover two to me gives us the most trouble. Uh, there's really no other coverage that's going to give this trouble in the red zone. If it's man coverage, this is going to be a laser. If it's zone coverage, generally speaking, these hitches are going to kind of open up these little soft spots. Uh, that you can throw the ball to. So again, you can have that. And then the other thing is, you know, do something like, simple like this. This is actually 
super good if they're going to run a lot of zone. If they're running man, obviously your post, your crossing routes are going to be very effective. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick video covering the best red zone play in Madden 23. Um, this play is super versatile. Again, you can make it your own, but the main concept is a crosser paired with a hitch. Now on the back side of this, we can do whatever we want. So if we wanted to do something like this, this is still going to be a really, really good concept. And it's still going to attack a lot of what people you know, are going to be leaving vulnerable. You can also play make of the hitches over the middle as well. And again, the closer you get to the red zone, I think it makes a lot of sense uh, to run something like this, maybe with a slant. So you have kind of multiple options. You know, the closer we get, the better this play is going to be. Uh, as you can see right here, hitches are going to hold the zones, and then you're just going to wait on your guy to get wide open. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do that, and the link to sign up for that is in the description down below.